Hello everybody and welcome back to Magic and Miracles where you learn how to be the magician of your life. My name is Anna and I'm your most favorite manifestation coach under the sun. I'm so inspired to share this message with you. Reason why I'm your most favorite manifestation coach is because nobody spends as much time on their clients as I do. I speak to my clients two to three times per week. That does not exist on the internet and there's no such coaching like my coaching um, in this capacity as I provide with audio exchange, emails of course, but mostly audios and telephone sessions, okay? I always um, listen to the client, whatever they need. Sometimes I adjust it, truth be told, to tailor it rather to their um, necessities at that time. I recommend two to three times, uh, two to three months in coaching with me simply because I need to cover with you certain things like your history, your beliefs, mom and dad, siblings, the way you grew up. I'm interested in how you grew up because I want to map out your belief system that went in into your subconscious, which is what you're reproducing right now in your reality and um, chances are have been uh, reproducing um, for a number of years. A good idea if you want to start coaching with me is to always pre-book. If you want to um, get on the phone with me for an hour, that is also available on my website. All the information is below. If you want to ascertain that I'm your kind of coach, although I, my personality, quite frankly, comes more than pre-advertised, you could do so. And then decide between the two packages in my coaching. One is audio exchange and the other one is um, telephone session, uh, unlimited deluxe. Not to be confused with phone calls that you can purchase because this is for somebody who has already gone through my coaching, who I've already gotten to know. And the difference is simply this. When you get into my coaching, I take a tremendous amount of notes after you by hand. That's how I do it. Um, I listen to your audios more than once because I really want to understand the kind of person you are to really grasp um, all parts of your life. Once I really have a grasp on it um, and you've gone through my coaching um, program, as it were, then um, it's up to you to stay on. But most of the time, um, I would say it, it really depends on um, the person and their situation. So I'm just saying two to three months uh, minimum, but it really depends on the person. Okay. Um, this is for somebody who wants to come back into my coaching and when they have done the due diligence um, to really go through everything they need to work on, then if we need to stay on and correspond through phone calls whenever they want to have those, that's what it is. It is way uh, less intense. I take less notes, although, of course, I do take notes always. Everybody has a pad um, in my coaching, but it is not to be confused with coaching, okay? It's a, a touch-up, a kind of like checking the engine, where are you now? What are we doing? What? How are you doing with this? Da da da. But if you still have got work to do that needs to be intensively looked after, um, coaching is what you need to do. I hope this makes sense. If it doesn't, please, um, my information is below. And also, um, as we we're going towards the end of the um year, for some reason, my seminars pick up, and so I wanted to inform you that I also do seminars. Um, up to 10 people. It's on my website. If there's more, uh, we can discuss. It's usually a comfortable amount um, and you get me for up to five hours of my time. It could be custom um, message or just go through the coaching that I coach. And basically, if it's 10 people, it's a little bit over a thousand per each person, which is more than fair. Upon booking me, please reach out to me. Please sign the coaching agreement, which is attached to every single um, coaching package. Um, and um, let me know when you can get on the phone. 
all right, for an hour. I record that session. I record um, also the phone calls in the uh, unlimited phone exchange package which obviously allows me to go through it later and to take extensive notes. I'm all about notes. Um, and that's um, honestly, the notes are so important because I really want to be ever so precise with my practice and in understanding um, the kind of person you were, the kind of person you're becoming, what are we working on, etc., etc. Notes are truthfully really important. And in my coaching, you will find that I will ask you to get a um, um, recording app such as this, which is Voice Record Pro for, for an iPhone or another one that's suitable for your phone, as well as a notepad by paper, paper and pen, darling. We don't do any computer shit. Um, and if it doesn't resonate with you, I will tell you this, your brain, it registers a lot more information when you write it down and not like just on your phone and on your computer. Again, if you have any questions, please um, email me or comment below. I've got so many notes for the for this audio. I hope I can get through them in a reasonable time. The subject of today, USB lives in the eternity of magic. Now, most of you, I would hope by now, have surmised that my audio slash videos are not only for SP, they're for um, everything, really. And so you can just replace um, the word SP with anything, just about anything at all, something that you're after, and it will serve you just as well. And so this theme that I often deal with in my coaching, um, it's, it's two things, really, very synonymous and similar. Um, people who are coming in from other coaches and watching 300 million videos on YouTube. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, that um, are who are frustrated with the kind of results they have not gotten, essentially. And people who waver in my coaching and go back and forth. Well, it's basically the same. One, in the first scenario, right, you need somebody else's affirmation to keep you back on track without examining who you actually are. In the second version, you kind of discovering who you are. You are definitely getting to know yourself. And there's a subsection to that. You're discovering who you are, but you're having resistance towards dealing with what you really need to deal with. That I've come um, in contact with like more than once. People shy away from their demons. I don't know why. I mean, I kind of do, but for me personally, it's a little bit um, foreign because me, when, when I set out on this journey, as they call it, when I was about 28, um, I really, I was like diehard wanting to understand like, what the fuck can I do? And so for me, uh, it's a little bit strange to tell you the truth, people who shy away from their problems because that's where it's at. And so whatever you have resistance towards, like there have been times where people have gotten on the phone with me. It has not happened that often, but it has happened um, maybe three times where I've gotten them on the phone and I've told them exactly what I thought. And they've just been so resistant that we couldn't continue the conversation and or um, they've telephoned me later and said uh, or texted me or emailed me, somehow communicated with me that, um, you know, this, this is just not a right fit. Well, that may be, but the reason is you don't want to confront your demons. Okay, and the second part is that where you waver and you don't want to um, continue towards the manifestations of your dreams. And I really wanted to express this for like a long time, to be honest with you, because we'll, we do live in the eternity, eternity of magic. And for me, not to say that somehow, um, you know, I'm better than you or this and that, 
but I understand certain things and I certain I have a certain kind of view of this that most people do not and perhaps that's why I'm the coach okay where you really need to reside in the kingdom of eternity of magic to understand that that's where you belong and whatever bullshit you have to work through in order to get there that's what you need to do Otherwise, you reside in your dysfunction and you're depriving yourself of certain results continuously so. Now, I am not saying on a daily basis you might not be confronted with some bullshit that is not your preference. Drama, panorama, this, that, and the other, some asshole, some bullshit, la, 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 la. The idea, though, is to know how to deal with it energetically, emotionally, consciously. Saying, oh, here's a. He, to me, honestly, I live in the fairy tale of my life like this. Here comes another villain. I'm made of light. You cannot, you don't have anything on me. You don't have anything on me, darling. Now, momentarily, of course, I'm a human. There's a human part in me, okay? Even the coach is human. You're right. This is why I'm able to understand the hum- humanity behind my clients, of course. And the things that I went through, and I will get upset, and this and that, but only for that long, for an hour or two. And then I will remember, oh, wait a minute, <clears throat> this to show serve me somehow. And you know, when you have these situations, when you turn everything to your benefit, even your wavering, that you understand I'm wavering because there's something else to work through. Oh, that's good information. Or I'm resisting to work on something because I'm afraid of something. Good information. Fuck, that's fantastic, man. That's absolutely enormously like valuable. And so if you're resisting to work on yourself, if you're resisting to bring back your SP, if you're resisting towards anything that serves you right, if you're living in dysfunction, that's a lot of useful information. And so it becomes that if you're wavering towards this, towards that, there's still a part of you that doesn't believe you can live in a fairy tale nonstop and only once in a while do you pay attention to some kind of bullshit. There, I just gave it to you, okay? It's like being in the divine godly presence most of the, let's say 95% of the time, and only 5% of the time you pay attention to some crap. That's pretty good, I'd say. (laughs) It's pretty good, all right. And so you need to be fearless enough to accept your dreams. What is it? Is it your SP, money, career, career, career? (laughs) I like saying this word. (laughs) Money, money, money. I like saying this word. <laughs> Whatever you want. Travel, marriage, kids. La, 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 la. These are your dreams. It, they're part of like this collage. When I was very young, I was like, I don't know, 11, 12. I made this fucking collage, which got lost when I was moving. Ugh, whatever. But anyway, it's still in my heart. And I made this collage um, of supermodels, um, you know, different like fashion designers this and that. It was gorgeous. It was beautiful. I really worked hard at it. And in my office where I'm uh, in right now, like my whole office is a collage. <laughs> I've turned my dream into reality. I just wanted to have a collage of a, of a room. And every corner I look, it's something inspiring. But, you know, these things, they, they've either all come true, some of them, most of them, but some of them, like, I replace if I've already accomplished them. And then I go and, you know, and uh, some of them are, are coming true. Some of them are just inspiring me and this and that. You need to really be present with your dreams. It fuels your soul. It goes beyond the human comprehension of what's possible. It goes like, yes, of course I can do it. Okay, yes, of course I can do it. I'll give you this example, which is so... I I don't think I've shared this yet on my channel. Um, I don't know how old I was. Maybe I was eight. 
a nine something before my parents divorced and um we were watching tv um and there was this uh contest uh, of some kind watch out this is going to be a long audio because i've got many more notes and um <clears throat> there were some kids that, that they got into the contest if you win the contest then you go to live in the plaza um on fifth avenue and you know visit the central park and this and that well now i live not very far from plaza and um i get to live off of fifth avenue and that was a dream of mine to walk down uh, with the snow and everything and i've experienced that and every time that it happens i'm like i'm baffled like here is my fucking fairy tale nobody can tell me what i can create because many people have and so that's what i want to instill in you that there's nothing of limits even if like the most monstrous person comes your way and says no it's not possible and blah 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 no fuck you i know what i'm doing and so in the wavering, it needs to stop. You need to completely be fused with your dream so much so that even an authority figure comes your way and say it's, says it's impossible. You go and like straight in the face and you're like, thank you for your opinion. I have other kind of like conclusions or you can just think it in your mind. Thank you for your opinion. Have a nice day. You need to be fearless enough to believe. Your belief trumps everything. Everything, everything easy to believe the bullshit rather than the fairy tale things it's easy for you to do that then you have examination to do of what the beliefs of yours are if it's if that's the case which most people that's what they have it's easier to believe what you've already learned um inherited from parents siblings this and that for me Today, it's easier to believe what I want to believe. I get to cherry pick and pick and choose what I, what the, whatever the fuck I want to believe. I don't take the cue from my 3D. No, thank you. It can present it to me like a, I, I watch it like a little theater and I watch it. I'm like, hmm, OK, we can react like you watch the theater. I'm like, I can cry. I can get angry and this and that. This is the emotion that I give to the performance. But after that, it's my show, motherfucker, because I know my magic is so rock solid there's no denying it. I've done this over and over again with everything, with my SPs, with my money, with, with everything, where I live, my dog, everything, but everything. You cannot, like, you cannot be of sane mind and come to me and to, to tell me that I cannot do something. I will look at you like you have 500 heads and be like, well, okay, I hope you had, get some help. And that will be the end of conversation in my world. You can come to me and start deliberating me on, you know, how difficult it is and this and that. And I will still look at you like you have 500 heads. It's not difficult. You know, the most difficult part is to change yourself. That's arduous. I will agree. You do have to uh, really just infuse um, a lot of effort. You do have to care enough to confront your old self in order to bring your results. If I were my old self when I was 28, I would have never gone this far. I would just never. I had to get pissed off enough. And that was my other note in my notes. Get pissed off enough. Some of you are not pissed off enough yet. I got pissed off enough. After I left my drug addict boyfriend, I... In my mind, I mean, I lost three years uh, with this man who I didn't even know who was on drugs. In my mind, believe it or not, I thought we were going to get married and this and that, even though the relationship was dysfunctional. And I thought to myself, what the fuck have I been doing? This is ridiculous. <laughs> And once I kind of cleansed myself and, you know, I was doing like um, literally like alone time for three months and thinking and da 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 and sewing and starting my company, I came to this realization that I'm pissed off. I'm so fucking pissed off that I'm going to spend every single day, every waking hour of my day to in order to create something that I'm proud of that I'm absolutely enamored with 
And nobody, but I mean nobody, is going to stop me. And I'm only going to invest it in people and in ideas and in creation that absolutely suits me. Everything else goes out the fucking window. And some of you have battle fatigue. This is a term by Joel Austin, who I love. Say what you will, this guy is brilliant. I don't care what anybody says. I don't think it's about religion necessarily. Um, I think it's about thoughts. The, um, the way you think, I think the way what he delivers is it goes beyond religion. And so if you've got battle fatigue towards your dreams, it usually is because you don't believe it can come. You can change things overnight. You really can. I've done it so many times where I was like, I have battle fatigue, but I'm also pissed off enough that I'm going to bring it in fruition into fruition anyway. I'm going to continue and persevere, believing in myself, believing in whatever the fuck I want to do and I want to create. And I would stubbornly script and write things down. This is what's going to happen. This is what's going to happen. And I can't like necessarily like go into detail like now in this audio. I can teach you in my coaching, of course. Um, but the thing was, I was on purpose. Even, especially in my hardest times, especially in my darkest hour, I was like, I will swim. I will not sink. And it has everything to do with any manifestation, like I said. Your SP, anything at all. Name a subject, it's the same. Okay? Anything that you're working on right now. And so this question when some people ask me, should I still continue manifesting? I'm like, what, what are you talking about right now? Do you want it? Yes. Okay, well then, what is the question about? To me, I don't understand the question. Of course, you need to continue manifesting it if you want it. If you really want it, that's the, the name of the game. But the fact that you're going back and forth, well, that speaks volumes about what you truly believe about yourself and about, well, you know, what you can manifest, quite frankly. I'm just telling you the truth here. Whenever I had a dire moment, okay, I'm going to give you a little gold nugget. Whoever catches it will win the prize. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, well, they will, but yeah. I had I have this technique um, where whenever I had like this seriously um, tra uh, transition into a parallel reality, tra this transition into a timeline that I really wanted it to, uh, to make it happen, I would drown the city that I was in at the time into the feeling of the accomplishment of my dream. I don't know how else to say it. My energy was everywhere, all over the city, everywhere, in everybody that was around, everything that was around, everything was made of my energy. Now, Parenthesis here, everything is already made of your energy, but it was on purpose. I was feeling everybody, it's like a heartbeat. Everything beats to my heartbeat, everything beats to my energy. And the whatever I was meditating this way on always came true. So I just gave you a nugget there, you're welcome. It has to do with high altitude. It has to do with... I'm on the high frequency where I override everything that I see right now. I am made of magic. Everything is the eternity of magic. So I live in the eternity of magic. I can observe this bullshit that you're doing right now. I can observe the bullshit that I've created before. But I ultimately, my divine highest being lives in the eternity of magic. And that is unparalleled fucking truth and unparalleled energy. You cannot fuck with that. You could try. <laughs> but you won't be able to beat it. And so anybody can come towards you with ill intentions and dark energy. I've had to deal with it like so many times. Anybody who ever came towards me with ill intentions, let me tell you something. It's two of the things, two outcomes. <clears throat> One, I didn't have to do anything and they suffered major consequences. Two, I had to do a little bit and they suffered major consequences. In either case... <laughs> Ha 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 
<laughs> it's funny because it's true. Why do you do it to yourself, darling? In either case, they, uh, I mean, they did it to themselves. Rule number one, don't harm anybody. Rule number two, you can accomplish anything. Actually, rule number one is you ac can accomplish anything. Uh, rule number two, <clears throat> you don't have to harm anybody whilst doing so. Um, people who don't understand it, they always fuck themselves. I don't know why they do it. It's mi mysterious to me. But the thing is, you're always magical. You always reside in the eternity of magic. So does your SP. And so the version of this dude or this girl, Dudette, <laughs> is always there. She or he is always there waiting for you. You need to uh, disembark from that situation of drama panorama in order to create this outcome that you ultimately prefer. This, out this new outcome that you really want is ultimately waiting for you there. Not even waiting, it's like always available. It's like, when are you going to like come visit us or stay permanently? When are you going to understand that this is always available to you? when you disengage with your dysfunction and bullshit. And that's the question for everybody. That's actually the work of everybody, always and forever. You need to let your magic shine. You need to understand that you are the tower of transmission of whatever it is you're creating right now. And everything around you could be shed, your SP left and this and that, ba-ba-ba, ba-ba-boo, ba-ba-boo. But now, <laughs> but now what? So what and now what? Create all that stuff all over again, right here, right now. If you have the understanding, what I'm talking about, that your energy shines into, it's like um, John 11, I think it is, I am the light of the world. It literally means this, that whatever I project into the uh, universe comes back to me. And so I am the tower of projection of, of whatever I want to create. And so I'm the power. There's nobody else. I am the magic. I reside in, in the magic. Magi means, by the way, imagination. I am magi. I am the magician. And, and here I am. Whatever I'm going after, it just comes like reflecting back to me. There's no other trick I can tell you. It's not just imagination. It's the reflection of energy. It has to be both. Imagine and feel and create the energy. I think it's more energy. For me, it's more energy because with the energy, everything else kind of like comes together and it's just all encompassing really. And so I'm the tower, I'm the power. The other thing I want, two things I wanted to mention really quick. You can have it all. You don't need to sacrifice anything. Because some of you have been brought up that, you know, if, if I have this, then I need to sacrifice something. No, you don't. You don't. You are made of gold. You're the golden Buddha. Your voice is gold, either literally or metaphorically speaking. And it carries responsibility because... You can change lives, you can transform situations, you can create situations that have never existed before. But unless you understand how valuable you are, it cannot happen. I love this quote apropos of Jim Carrey, uh, the comedian and the actor. Dare to be seen in all your glory. I remember that inspiring me so much. It's like... That's where it's at. Dare to be seen in all your glory, in all your energy, your authenticity, and in what you want to create, your dreams, your power. And here's a quote from me. The only danger is not going after your desires. Everything else is not dangerous at all. So the fear that you've got... Um, of accepting your dreams, of bringing back your SP, because some of you, I think, truly have this fear of like, what will happen if I get everything I want? Then I will sabotage it. Then I will recreate the pattern. Well, all right. If you've got this fear, then maybe you need to work on that. But when you get your um, situation, when you when you get your manifestation, when you get your desire, 
You need to just gracefully accept it and cherish it and love it and understand this is the normal. The other one was the dysfunction and the abnormal. But that is only possible on the high altitude of becoming somebody else and living in the magic, in, in the eternity of magic that has been created for you um, somehow, some way. We don't need to rationalize it. Universe is benevolent. And you have gone through different pathways to you know elaborate on things that don't work. Why don't you start residing in the magic? in the kingdom of magic, in the eternity of magic, where things are supposed to work out in your way. And everything that you've thus far requested is right there and nobody can stop you from it. Is it scary for you to accept? I hope so. It has to scare you a little bit. Thank you very much for listening. All the information from me is below. Until next time. Ciao, ciao.